Good morning, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. It is grace, something we didn't earn, and something that we don't deserve. It's grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. When you add works to it, you've added yourself, and when you add yourself, you added works. If churches gave the gospel in every sermon, there would be no they they would be out of business. Because that's all they that's all a lot of these places are now. Churches don't give the gospel because it'll knock them out of business. They treat the um they treat uh Christ like a business. That's the bottom line. It's true. Of course it's true. They'll lose money. The gospel is simple. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe. Key word is believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Perfect example, and I've given this a few times last week, the thief on the cross. He automatically believed. Nothing else. He believed. The key word is believe. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. Not only are you saved, but the Holy Spirit seals you until the day of redemption, which means you won't lose your salvation. This gospel message is so simple that even children believe. When you accept Christ as Savior, you are clean. The Holy Spirit indwells in you and you are clean. And you are rapture ready. You won't you you won't lose your salvation. But he cleanses you from all unrighteousness. The Holy Spirit is your BFF. The Holy Spirit will lead you, the Holy Spirit will guide you, and the Holy Spirit will change you. The average church building today, and I'm not knocking all of them. But the average one wants to give you a long list of demands to be saved. And that's just not true. See, if they gave, like I said in the beginning, if they gave the gospel, the true gospel, they would be out of business. Because they treat Christianity like a business. And that's what it is to them. Strictly a business. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's a shame. Because the gospel is so simple that those who don't accept will be without excuse when the time comes. And rightly so. Rightly so. I got to give you this article. This is off of MSN. When these uh, so-called leftist journalists start reporting stuff like this, you can bet two things. It's worse than what they're reporting. And if they're picking it up, it's most likely true. Pentagon warns that China is developing space weapons. China is making a sizable long-term investments in weapons designed to jam or destroy satellites as the nation seeks to rapidly narrow the gap in space technology with the U.S. according to the top intelligence official for the Pentagon's Indo-Pacific Command. 
This is how close we are to the rapture. I say that every day. Someone wrote me yesterday and said, when is soon? And I know what they wanted. They wanted me to give them a date. Soon is soon. It's very soon. Soon indeed. We're not going to be here much longer. I can feel that with every being that I have. China is pushing to develop an anti-satellite weapon with capabilities from dazzling to jamming to kinetic kill from the ground from space. All that they're on the march. In other words, they're developing, they are putting up an EMP. That's what I'm getting out of this article. Rear Admiral uh, Michael Studman said this week during an intelligence security trade groups uh, webinar, Stutman's comments uh, mark the most current unclassified assessment of the counter space capabilities of nations of a nations of a nation that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin repeatedly refers to as the top challenge for U.S. defense planning and spending and spending. China's threat to U.S. satellites as well as Russia's advance in counter space technologies were among the primary justifications. American officials cited for establishing the U.S. Space Force. The sixth U.S. military service branch and regional space command during the Trump administration. They took, they take a look at our space capability and want to equal and exceed those and be able to dominate the, and uh, to guarantee themselves the maneuvering they need to be able to secure their objectives if they're in a fight. The U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence said in April that the Chinese military will continue to integrate space services such as satellite reconnaissance and positioning, navigation, and timing, and satellite communications into its weapons and command and control systems to erode the U.S. military's information advantage. This is, this is serious. I always say that. This is serious. Because, and I'm going to tell you, basically, if they knock out, and look at my blog, because I put an article in there about um, cyber attack, and what if it brought down the internet. That's from uh, Prophecy News Watch. I put an article in there about that. Now, this to me, and I don't know, I, I could be wrong, but this to me sounds like an EMP. And it sounds to me as so though China already has one. We shall see what happens. Because I'm going to encourage you. The church is not appointed to wrath, and that would be wrath. The church is not appointed to wrath. If the whole internet system went down, if everything went down, the economy would stop just like that. The economy would stop almost instantaneous. Um, I'm going to look more into that. Now, that article that I have on my blog is saying, what if the Internet shut down? It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when. It's a matter of when. I'm going to link that article in the description box. I'm going to link 
Well, I'm going to link the uh, one on Prophecy News Watch is already on my blog. But I'm going to link this article in a description box. It says, um, and I'm going to read this little paragraph again. China is pushing to develop anti-satellite weapons with capabilities from dazzling to jamming to kinetic kill from the ground, from space, and all that they're doing. Dazzling to jamming to kinetic kill. That's an EMP. Now again, I could be wrong, but that's what it sounds like. So you got Russia, you got China, you got North Korea. You got Iran. Iran is so close right now to this that um, Israel is calling on the all on the nations of the world to mobilize against Iran. And that's from Isaac Herzog, Israel's newly appointed president, responds to congratulations from world leaders by calling on them to join in a universal effort to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. That's how close they are. If they're asking for the world to intervene, Iran is very close to a nuclear weapon. And they don't know how to stop it. I got news for you. They can't. They can't stop it. I'm going to link both of these articles in the description box. This article goes on to say here, Iran's efforts to acquire nuclear capability constitutes a threat to our national security and regional stability. I know that together we can prevent its attempts, Herzog said. Quoted by his office, the leaders included in his dialogue were British Queen Elizabeth II, King of Jordan Abdullah II, King of Bahrain Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi Mohammed bin Zayed, and of course, German Chancellor Angela Merkel. I don't know why they call her Angela. Her name is Angela, from what I can see. But I'm going to link this in the description box. These wars are nuclear. You can say what you want. You can think what you want. But this is a nuclear-based war. That's what makes these wars more dangerous than that of World War One and Two. World War Three will be nuclear. And guess what? It's forming as we speak. That's why I know that I know. And I'm seeing signs even with the number 777. I'm seeing it everywhere. More and more. The Lord is giving those who are watching a warning. Those of us who are watching, get prepared to take off. And that just gave me chills. Get prepared to take off. Because those of us who are watching, he won't come as a thief. Just saying. I'm going to link these articles in the description box. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.